Hello legends, welcome back to the channel today. It's a heavy box. It is the Morrison's 35 pound essential food box. So hey legends, how we doing? Welcome back. Um, it's a little bit different today. A bit unusual for what we normally do. Um, basically, I could not get a delivery slot in the next like two or three weeks. Um, we've been running down the cupboards for a couple of weeks now, you know, digging out them burgers out the bottom of the freezer and the oven pizzas and eating pot noodles out the back of the cupboard. We're running low on supplies, guys. All right? We're running out of supplies. So because we couldn't get a delivery slot for a couple of weeks, we needed to get some food. Um, to avoid the craziness at the supermarket, I decided... Um, I've heard a little bit about Morrison's essential boxes. They do quite a few different ones. They do vegan ones, barbecue ones. Um, I'll try and stick a picture in with a bit of information about it or a couple of examples. They do gluten-free ones, vegan ones, all sorts. Um, decided we would try one, basically. So this box costs 35 Great British Pounds. Um, comes from Morrison's supermarket in the UK. It is shipped by like a courier, not a Morrison's driver. It comes through DPD, which is a bit unusual. It's a bit different. Um, I've never opened this before. I have no idea if it's going to be good or bad. Um, when you order it, they give you a sample of roughly what they expect you to get, but it basically can be anything that they find in Morrison's. So opening this box, I have no idea what food is going to come out. Some of you will know I'm a bit of a fussy eater. So let's see how good or bad this is. It's taped very securely. I don't know why it's got like six bits of sellotape on the on the top. I feel like Spider-Man. Right. I think they've sent me a pillow. Oh, no. It is... Insulation... For the the cold goods, what? It's upside down. Oh, I didn't know it was upside down. <laughs> oh my God. So you might have seen there. I was looking behind the camera. The girlfriend is screaming at me. You have it upside down. Sorry. They've written on the bottom. It says, "I'm here to keep your chilled items." are in here. I was just, no, it says, I'm here to keep things cool. Your chilled items are in here. So add it upside down, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's got a big old stick. I don't know if I want to rip the plastic. Um, rip the sticker and then the plastic bag opens. So you get some free ice. I assume that's not something they, they count. You get, oh, that'd be good as a cold compress. That actually would. I wonder if that's reusable. Thinking of the environment, I don't want to like throw that away because of the plastic. If I could freeze that to be a cold compress or to use for like other stuff, that's a good bonus item. So the first thing I'm getting out is spinach. This is baby spinach. Um, I don't like spinach, so I don't know what to say about it. Um, it's spinach. My girlfriend likes spinach though, so it won't go to waste as well. Um, some stuff obviously I won't like, but hopefully, hopefully, Everything, me or my girlfriend will like it so stuff doesn't go to waste because I hate wasting stuff like the bag of ice. Um, I've got a tomato and basil pasta sauce. That looks quite nice. It says two for £2.50. So I assume this is normally like £1.50 or something. So that's a bit of value there. Unsalted butter I have next. That's not something that I would normally buy, guys. Um, I like clover. Don't know about you. What do you guys like to use? I like clover. Um, but yeah, smooth and creamy on salt of butter. It's Arla. It's not like a Morrison's own brand. It is Arla. I think Arla is a sort of respected brand in the butter industry. Um, I'm trying to think of a butter pun, but I ain't got nothing. Next up, we got some milk. Now this is a, it's weird because they've given us two two pint bottles of milk. These are dated the twenty second of May. Today is the 17th, I think. So they've got like five days on them, which is all right. Um, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So inside of my bag, there is like a, another little bag. It's 
like bagception. Oh, this looks good. So just mention as well, I got the meat version. There is a version of this which is for vegans, I believe, and a different vegetarian one. This is the meat one. Got a pack of six thick British pork sausages. Uh, these are actually good sausages. We have bought these before, and we've bought, they do a Cumberland version of this. We have had them before, and they're really nice sausages. Um, one of the things I do like about Morrison's as a supermarket is the meat generally is decent quality. Um, I've got 16 streaky unsmoked rashes of bacon. Now, I wouldn't normally pick unsmoked bacon, but I do like streaky bacon. Not so keen on the amount of fat in streaky bacon. Not that it's something I worry about a lot, but it's all right. It's good. Then we've got a pack of chicken breasts. I think that's three chicken breasts. 485 gram. It looks like three chicken breasts. Um... That says three for nine pounds, so that's got to be worth at least three quid. So that is, there is some some value in there. Then we got a packet of British beef mince. Now this is twelve percent fat. I like slightly leaner mince, um, but twelve percent fat can be quite nice for like a burger. So I'll definitely make use of it. Still, twenty first of May. What were the dates on the other meat? Twentieth of May. Bacon will always be good. 25th of May on the sausages. So the meat has generally got a few days on it. So there's, it's all got at least three to four days. So that's actually really good. That's something I was really worried about with this box because I wasn't sure if Morrison's was just going to sort of give me the stuff that had the worst dates in the store to get rid of it. Um, I have no idea what... This is ice again. I had no idea what this was. This is another bag of ice. So it has got ice at the bottom and the top of the bag, keeping it cool. Um, again, I'll see if I can reuse that because I like the environment. Oh, Pilgrim's Choice Mature Cheddar. Now, this is one of my favourite, favourite brands of cheese. Apart from going to like your food markets, um, I like cheese. And I like mature cheddar. I like strong sort of cheddars. My favourite cheese is Orkney Island cheddar, um, which they do on the Morrison's Deli Counter near me, which is really good. Oh, I got a card. It just says... Thank you for shopping at Morrison's, basically. Thank you for shopping with us. Hope you enjoy your food box. Um, right, moving forward. We've got some wheat biscuits. So there is some sort of cereal in there. I wouldn't probably choose these, but I know my girlfriend does like... Um, I can't even think what the brand version's called. Weetabix. My girlfriend does like Weetabix. So... Um, should be happy with those. We got a... I just ripped it open. No, I haven't. I thought I'd ripped it open because I split the pack there, but it's not actually gone through the seal. Um, but we have got a loaf of Morrison's medium white bread. Nice little badge encouraging you to recycle on that, which I like. This is the 20th of May, so this has got three days on it. You can freeze bread though as well, so it's not, it's not a horrific date. But I like to try and get bread with as good a date as possible. It's not always good. This is basically gold during a pandemic situation. We got toilet roll. I wasn't. Um, I know it mentioned that you can get toilet roll. Four toilet rolls. It is Morrison's toilet roll, which again I would normally buy a brand where possible, like your Andrex, your Cushel. But in a pandemic, four toilet rolls in the box is useful. Okay, moving on. Got, okay, we got it's interesting now. Looking down, oh, we have Morrison's the best sweet baby peppers. Now they are in a dented box. That was my fault from when I was trying to get the icy thing out. Um, I'm not going to blame them, but none of the peppers are actually damaged. But um, I absolutely love sweet baby peppers. They're really good for using in like curries or for heaters. And I like as well with these these ones because of the size of them. You get some different colours, and that's one of the things um, my mate Ainsley Harriet, who is my favourite TV chef, always goes on about. When you cook, it is so nice to put in extra colour to your food, rather than just put in like, all red or all yellow, like the variety of colour. It's just something that I like to do. Um, it feels like I'm making something more important than I do. We have a bag of pasta. This is Don Gaetano Penne Rigate, I believe. I believe that is Penne Rigate. Um, I don't really know much about pasta. I'm not the biggest pasta fan, but it looks like it's a brand. I don't know. It could be Morrison's own, but they've dressed it up. I have no idea. Um, oh, 
Okay, so I've got some onions, but the bag is split. Um, you see the, the whole bag is actually open, but it's very full. So I don't know, I don't know if the, the bloke at Morrison's or the lady at Morrison's who packed this has has found two split bags and put them in one, but it's it looks good. There's a lot of onions there. Um, yeah. So quite happy with that. Onions, really good for using in everything. Everything you cook has onions in. You can put it in, in a burger. It's in a small amount. Now don't put loads of onion in a burger. You know, bolognese, pastas, curries. Basically every dish you make, you can use onions. So it's definitely a good thing to have. Next up, we have Naturally Wonky Carrots from Morrison. So just spin them around. They're not that wonky, to be honest. It says wonky carrots. They're not that wonky. Um, but I like the fact that supermarkets are now selling the wonky veg and the misshapen veg because I don't like stuff going to waste. You know, there's people hungry and just because of how something looks, um, as long as it is, like, safe to eat, if, do you know what I mean? Who cares if a carrot isn't straight? When most of the time when you eat carrots, you cut them up anyway, unless you're making carrot sticks. But... You know what I mean, right? It's not common that it matters if a carrot is straight. So why do supermarkets used to throw them away? Why did farmers used to throw them away? Waste of time. Right, oh! Something I've never ever used cooking before um, is four Morrison's vegetable stock pots. Um, that's something I've never used. I have no idea. I guess you can use stock pots for like gravy or for like stews and things like that. Um, most of the stuff I've cooked before uses like meat stock pot, but obviously it's a good inclusion. Next up, we have apples. These look like, now I haven't seen the packet yet because I'm looking at the back. Uh, these, I used to work in a supermarket, so I can tell you just from the coloration of the apple, that is a Royal Gala. What is it? It's a Royal Gala, see? knowledge you pick up um, as well the supermarket i used to work in used to have to know the code for the different fruits so i know my apples next up we've got a bag of baggy ba baggy baby potatoes as we would say in suffolk potatoes um baby potatoes are nice and you can do a lot of different stuff with them and as well you can still if you want to make like chips you can still hack them up and make chips out of them you can make little wedges you can make new potatoes you can do you can do a lot with them, so baby potatoes are definitely a handy thing to have. Coming towards the end of our journey now, people. Baxter's Veggie Goodness County Garden Gluten-Free Soup with Vegetarians. I don't actually know what this is. Is this soup? I don't know what it is. Is it soup or is it just like a thing of vegetables? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tin. It's a, it's a tin of assorted vegetables. Um, for making shoes or something that's already cut up. I had no idea what that was. Just been informed by my girlfriend that this is actually soup. I wasn't wrong. So, I knew. Anyway, we're getting towards the end, as I say. Next we have Uncle Ben's. Don't tell Spidey. Um, we've got Uncle Ben's, Basmati, I believe, yeah. Basmati rice, um, single pack. This is for two people, these portions, but sometimes... You know, you can eat one of these. It is possible, guys, if you want to back yourself. But yeah, this is this is meant for two people, so that is a nice thing for making like a curry. You've got a good ingredients to make a curry here. Um, only thing you probably could have maybe done with, with some tin tomatoes and some tomato tomatoes. I've turned very Suffolk the last few days. Um, you could do with some tin tomatoes or you know, or some tomatoes to chop up and make a sauce. But it's all right. Very good. And then last but not least, malted milk biscuits. They're probably the worst biscuits that they make. But you still got a biscuit wrap for your tea. So here is everything that we got inside of the Morrison's Essentials box. So on the whole, you've just seen the whole haul, guys. I think the box is really, really good value. I like the idea that stuff won't be going to waste. 
I like the idea that the people in the shop probably pick the stuff which they have an excess of instead of the stuff which is going out of stock. So it's leaving availability for other people. But yeah, I really like the idea. I like that Morrison's is doing it. But I also like the stress that it takes away because I hate shopping. I love the idea of I just order a box and I see what happens with it. Um, I see what they send me, basically. I like that idea. So yeah. Thank you, Morrisons. I enjoyed that. Maybe I'll try one of the other boxes in future. Uh, if you guys want to see more sort of food-related videos, do let us know. Um, it's something a bit different to what we normally do on the channel, but we're trying to switch things up. Um, yeah. Let me know if you've tried these Morrisons boxes, if you've tried any of the other ones, if you've tried like, the vegan ones, the barbecue ones, etc. Because um, I'm curious now, because I quite like this. Um, I'm curious as to what the other ones are like and are a lot of people using them. So, yeah, thank you for that. I've been Link. You have been my legends. And I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss... What is coming up real soon.